Hollow One 7 billion is an action vision language model developed by H company specifically designed to interact with web interfaces like a human user would. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video we are going to install this Hollow One 7 billion on our local system and then we would test it out with few of the web interfaces. Unlike traditional language models that only process text, Hollow One 7 billion can understand both visual elements, what, what uh, it means is that what is displayed on a screen and language instructions. And then it takes precise actions on the web pages. This model is built on top of Quen 2.5 VL 7 billion instruct and serves as a core component of the Surfer H web agent system where it can function as a policy maker, localizer, validator and even navigator. And we are going to test it out as how exactly that works. I will be talking more about this model as we install it. So let's get on our way for installation and by the way it also comes in 3 billion variant if you are interested. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I am starting by creating a virtual environment with Conda. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs so please do check them out. Next up we need to install a lot of prerequisites which include torch, transformer and all this stuff. All the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen. Now, before um, I run any further script, let me quickly show you the code which I have prepared from their Hugging Face model repo and I have just added some Gradio interfacing on top of it. So what this code is doing, it is downloading the model, this hollow 7 billion as you can see. Then it is loading its tokenizer processor and this is where I am give, passing it an image of my web interface. It is going to check it out and then by using this model, it will give us a reasoning around its navigation. And I will show you how exactly that works. It's a simple Python code which is downloading the model, building a Gradio interface on top of it. As you can see, some of the exception handling is happening and then this is the usual standard Gradio interface. So this is the code which I am going to run now. This is going to first download this model. And the model is being downloaded as you can see. While it downloads it, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will find their link in video's description. Model is still being downloaded. So let's talk a bit more about the architecture of this model. So the model excels at user interface localization which means it has the ability to identify exactly where to click, type or interact on a web page based on natural language instructions. They have also shared a lot of benchmarking information which you can check out on their Hugging Face card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now where this could be useful? Well, use cases could include web automation like automatically filling forms, scraping data or navigating e-commerce sites. It could also be used in accessibility tools for users who need help interacting with complex interfaces you could use it for quality assurance testing for web applications and building intelligent assistants that can perform multi-step web tasks like booking appointments, comparing prices or even managing online accounts, all while operating through a standard browser just like a human user would. So I think pretty interesting model. Okay, so our Gradio demo is now running in our local host. Let me access it and that should be running our hollow 7 billion there you go so that is cool let me now upload one of the screen image and then we will start talking with it
So I have selected this image of um, a user interface and I'm asking it book a hotel in Paris on August 3rd for three nights. There you go on the right hand side. You see it has said that, okay, I need to select the checkout date. So it has understood what exactly is being shown on this user interface. And then it has given us a whole navigation plan that it needed to select the checkout date as this and then proceed to search this so all the actions are there so not only it is doing vision task but also the action so that is why it is called as action vlm or action vision language model let's check out another example okay so i have given it the screenshot of um, the home page of my channel and the task is by fahad a coffee it's actually early morning in sydney and i really badly need a coffee i guess so this is the link as you can see on the home page let's click on navigate to see what it does here i think i should also check the vram consumption in real time okay maybe i'll in the next go i'll check it so it says i need to provide a link to buy a coffee for fahad mirza there you go you see uh, to buy a fahad a coffee you can visit his coffee page this is a link which is given on the home page. I'm also telling this to you, by the way. You can also support him through Patreon. Okay, so it has even given the extra information as per this context. So pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's check out another one. Just going to select maybe another. Let's do go with this one. Okay, so I'll just say... Um, select. I don't think so it's a good uh it's not a really a good one but anyway i'll just try it now as i have loaded it select uh large font and you see there is a spell uh, mistake in the font so but anyway let's check it out let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming close just over 19 gig of vram not bad Okay, so it is just talking about this. Yeah, so I think this is not a good example. Let's try out another one. I think I should have some other screenshots. There you go. So I'm just going to say, okay, so deploy this model. Let's see what it does. Let's click on navigate. There you go. So it has deploy button. So this is a deploy button, as you can see. It was able to detect it quite nicely very nice so as i said earlier there could be a lot of use cases and if you have watched my channel for other videos around vision language models and action models you know that we can easily convert this into maybe tool use or function call or maybe we could use a mcp server and then actually send these actions to another model or maybe um, one of our tool or one of our mcp and could really get this convert it into a full-blown application so look uh, very impressive by hollow one i guess and there's seven billion as i said there is also a three billion variant if you are interested please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel thank you very much